I started this uh, habit of saying every day I have to do one thing that I like that is not work. But I also have to say that because I don't really consider science a job, really, I am so happy to do what I do. So I don't work like nine to five, for instance. But I think science, you keep thinking about some ideas. When I'm traveling, when I'm on airplanes, my mind keeps thinking, keep wondering. So in a way, I do kind of work a lot of the time. But again, it's a passion. We often forget how our life has changed as a result of science. For instance, if we only think about computers, 60 years ago, a computer will fill the entire room. And nowadays, we can all carry one in our pocket. I mean, all the improvement in the diagnosis and in the treatment of different diseases has changed enormously as a result of science. I remember when I was five years old, I remember very vividly were the first experiments that my dad showed me with the different colored flame by just putting different salts in the flame. The sodium gives you a nice yellow flame or the potassium, you look it through this glass and it's purple, violet, which is funny, but it's actually what I worked at the end in my PhD. I was working with photochromic molecules and designing molecules that change color in response to different stimuli. So that's kind of funny. It was the first thing that I remember. Being a scientist, you really got to explore different fields. You travel a lot, you meet a lot of interesting people from industry, from academia, from government, from funding agency. I speak at science festivals, women in science workshop, especially since I won the L'Oreal UNESCO Women in Science Award. You know, before when I was just, a, let's say, a postdoc or a researcher, then I could just come in and organize my day and think what kind of experiments I want to do and go in the lab. But now, because I have a group, so I spend a lot of time sitting down, writing, reading and writing proposals so that I can actually do the science I want and try to answer the questions that I set. When I think about different career paths I could go into, in an industry you could still work in the lab and do research and development, or you can take up more managemental position from you know, a scientist in the lab to a science communicator. A scientist can influence science policy by becoming a consultant for European community, just to name one, different funding bodies. But you could also decide to maybe become a full-time teacher. When I first started to go to conferences, I, I was maybe a little bit intimidated and I wouldn't have maybe the courage to speak up and ask questions. But this is something I've learned. You have to say what you think, especially when you're in a meeting, and not always wait to be asked, but give your opinion and realize that your voice is as good as anybody else's. As a female scientist, I have learned, and I like to pass on the message, and I think it's an important message. Don't be afraid to speak up.